The monumental stone works of the ancient world bear mute witness to the giants who quarried, transported, and placed the megaliths to construct awe-inspiring temples, fortresses, astronomical sites, sculptures, graves, and monuments to the dead. But all the evidence of the giants is not mute. From the Bible's specific listing of 36 tribes and 22 individual giants in the ancient Holy Land, to dramatic Greek legends, to the folklore of the Solomon Islands, the stories told by peoples around the world attest to the presence of giants living, building, fighting, and ruling throughout the ancient world. Despite the vast differences in cultures in places as disparate as Russia and Africa, the British Isles and the Hawaiian Islands, Spain and New Zealand, France and India and beyond, they have all preserved memories of ancient giants. In addition, around the world, the impressive remains of giants have been found preserved under stone and earth, sometimes accompanied by giant-sized weapons. Despite the all-too-common habit of academia to lose or rebury those remains in museum catacombs, the documentation of their discoveries in the popular press is widespread. One wonders at the academic resistance to acknowledging the existence of our larger forebears. Is it because modern egos recoil from the idea that anything bigger or better could have come before? Is this a form of species arrogance, not allowing any disturbance to the storyline, that current humans are the victorious culmination of survival of the fittest? Or is it due to a fundamental disease with visions of humanity too unlike what we know? Whatever the reason, for all the traces of ancient giants preserved in the human psyche and in the earth, there are almost as many instances of cover-ups and dismissals. But, as you have seen, when the records that have not been erased are gathered together, as they are here, they constitute evidence that is not easily dismissed, especially when they are paired with the abundant and pervasive oral history of giants, and their still visible monumental creations. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. As the heat of a fire reduces wood to ashes, the fire of knowledge burns to ashes all karma. Lord Krishna in 2015, archaeologists in India discovered a group of skeletons from one of the world's most ancient empires, findings that provide clues about the first human settlements of the Indus Valley Civilization, which appeared around 5,000 years ago. This was a civilization that extended across India, modern-day Pakistan, and the northeast of Afghanistan. The skeletons were found in a graveyard at Rakagarhi village in Hyser, a site near the 1934 discovery of a massive ancient giant skeleton, as reported in the August 10, 1934, edition of the Argus. Giant Prehistoric Ape, Skeleton 31 one half feet long found. The sensational discovery of a skeleton, believed to be a prehistoric giant ape, measuring 31 feet 6 inches in length, is reported from Jibalpur. The discovery was made by a farmer who noticed a bone protruding from the sand on the riverbank near the village of Jintia. Attempts to dislodge the skeleton with the aid of other villagers failed, whereupon the chief of the state had the skeleton dug out. Three men were required to lift it, the legs alone, measuring 10 feet. The skeleton has been placed in the palace of the chief pending examination by geologists, among whom the discovery has created enormous interest. The Jabalpur district is renowned for its wealth of fossilized relics of an earlier age. The last important discovery three years ago, being the remains of a giant prehistoric mammal, reputed to be centuries old. Some believe these bones to be those of Hanuman, the giant monkey god of Hindu legend. He also left his footprints throughout India, or at least some sort of giant humanoid being did. One of these four-foot-long footprints, which would also make the giant over 30 feet tall, can be seen at a temple in Lapakshi, a small village in Andhra Pradesh. Some Hindu and Jain sects believe that Hanuman was not a real ape, but a human-like giant with slight physical variations. Sacred texts from many ancient civilizations describe these giants as hybrids between gods and humans. As we have seen in the Bible, they are called Nephilim. Hanuman can also be classified as a Nephilim, because his father was a god, and his mother was human. 
According to Hindu scriptures, Hanuman was not the only giant that looked like an ape. A whole race of giant apes called the Vanara was documented. Is it possible that this huge skeleton is one of these ape-like gods? What happened to Hanuman's skeleton? Today, we are not able to trace the whereabouts of the 32-foot Rakagarhi skeleton anywhere. Since India was under British control at that time, this priceless evidence was possibly taken to England, along with many other rare artifacts, and lost down the memory hole like most of the other bones we've discussed so far. There are repeated mentions of these giants in the Hindu holy texts, called the Puranas. According to Indian mythology, Brahma created people of such incredible size that large trees were easily uprooted by them once they put their hands around the trunk. The purpose of creating them was to bring order to the world and to also stop the fighting and wicked practices among men. Bhima, mentioned in the Indian epic Mahabharata, happened to be one of the god sons of Brahma, and he also had similar powers and a giant frame. One of the sons of Bhima, Gadakacha, was a giant. In the Indian epic Ramayana, the chief of the three supreme Hindu gods, Vishnu, was incarnated in a noble family. He fraud and defeated the giant Kumbhakarna, the brother of Ravana, and Ravana himself, king of the giant Rakshasas, or demons, whose kingdom was in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, already a mysterious and ancient country, is an island off the coast of southern India, rich with tales of ancient giants. Ten of them once served in the council of the Dutujamunu the Great. The giant warrior Nandamitra was considered the strongest Sri Lankan in history and was sent to fight for the Sri Lankan king at the Battle of Kahagalagama to secure independence. History records that only two of the original ten giants survived this battle. Possible footprints of these giants can be seen at Adams Peak in central Sri Lanka. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.